Hi guys, Kurt Provost here, your guide to all things new skin. If we've ever met in person, then you may have noticed that I tend to wear different glasses to the ones I'm wearing right now. Why is that? Well, when the optometrist asked me if I'd like to splash out and uh, upgrade these glasses with the anti-glare feature, I paid the extra $50 or whatever it is for these glasses, but not for these ones. And when I'm on camera, you will notice that there's quite a glare difference from these glasses right here and these ones below. So these aren't so useful despite being very comfortable glasses. I wear them day to day, but they're not so useful for on camera or for driving at nighttime. That's when I tend to wear these ones because it really cuts down on the glare. How is that relevant to today's video? Good question, because I'm going to show you how you can create a little force field just like these glasses do for my eyes, except doing it from the inside out with the help of this eye formula. Now this is a product that's been around for a reasonable amount of time, but it doesn't get a lot of attention because there are so many other amazing products within the new skin range. It kind of gets drowned out by all the exciting noise of those products. But this one, after watching a scientific presentation on it recently, which I'm going to share with you today, I have begun taking it because essentially it provides the opportunity to create that anti-glare uh, force field or protection from the inside out along with the antioxidant protection from free radical damage of all the photon damage that we're getting from the different screens in our lives. So many people will wear that uh, blue light blocking glasses and this is the opportunity to essentially create your whole body as a big blue light blocker. Now, there are a couple of large claims there and I don't speak on behalf of the company. That's just my interpretation of the scientific presentation that I heard. You can make up your mind on what it can potentially do for you by listening on to our technical communication and education manager, part of the global research and development team, Tanner Gibb. Now I've created a few videos introducing you to Tanner Gibb because he is fantastic at explaining heavy science in easy to understand, easy to digest forms, and today is no different in regards to eye formula. I'll just give you a very quick introduction in regards to what this formula is based on, and that is the AREDS both one and two studies. Now they are the largest and most thorough studies in the world in regards to our eye health and long-term eye health and using nutrition to improve that. So this formulation is based on the most recent one of those studies, AREDS2, and it brings the scientific rigor and uh, peace of mind that the 6S quality control process does with Pharmanex. You can check out this video here if you're wondering what on earth that is. So I'm gonna pass it over to uh, Team Elite leader, Graham Park, who is interviewing Tenor Gibb on this topic and they have a Q&A session that is very interesting at the end, so stay tuned for that. I, do. I love our products, I love training, I love our science, and we do have a lot of hidden, hidden gems and iFormula is one of them, right? It doesn't get talked a lot, but there's a lot of eye formulas out there. What makes ours different? What makes it distinct? Um, and it's based on the largest studies and adding our Pharmanex success quality process to it. So let me share my screen and we will jump right in. So be sure to jot down all the tough questions and we can address those at the end here. So, um, you know, before I jump in and talk about you know, the eye, what it is, its structure, the nutrients, what they're studied for. Um, you know, the eye really is a window to the soul of the body. And more and more research is coming out today showing that a lot of the eye problems or the eye issues actually begin systemically, right? So taking care of the inside of our body and, you know, different factors in terms of just our health and our diet and nutrition um, can play a big role in the health of our eyes. In fact, a lot of times we have issues in our eyes that are manifest over time because of things that are happening on the inside of our bodies. That said, sometimes we can have you know eye issues that occur just because the eyes are very, very sensitive. They're very exposed to, to light. Um, and we're going to talk about that today. Um, and they can, they can be damaged from a lot of different sources and a lot of different avenues. And so 
Um, taking care of your eyes is very critical and we have a fantastic formula for it. So uh, we're gonna cover the benefits here before we jump right in. Um, help us protect eyes from indoor lighting and computers. Um, anyone know out there what kind of light you're getting from indoor lights, LEDs, computers, screens, uh, telephone, even sunlight? Uh, blue light is the type of visible light that you're getting from these sources and that particular light is very, has high energy. It's very damaging. It can cause oxidative stress or damage to the eyes, in particular the retina or the specific zone in the retina called the macula toward the back of the eye. Um, it's the only light that really passes through. And I believe we're exposed to more light today than ever before. Um, just from you know all these different sources, uh, oftentimes we have our computer and our phone and our TV. I mean, we have like three sources of light coming at us all at once. And that over time is just wear and tear for the eyes. And we need to protect our eyes with nutrients that can actually reflect some of that light and protect it against damage. Um, that said, there are minor benefits that I'll talk about in a bit to getting some of that light through our eyes, right? It's part of your circadian cycle. Um, it's good for sleep-wake cycles. There are some health benefits, but it's in excess where it can be really damaging to the eye. Uh, may help reduce glare sensitivity. Anyone been out there and you just kind of glaring a little bit, especially at nighttime? Um, well, a lot of that glare sensitivity or issues with, with glare in, inside of the eye and our vision has to do with our rods and cones and some of the photoreceptors that we have at the back of the eye in the macula. And um, that's dealing with just vision uh, acuity. It's dealing with the color of our vision. It's helping to reflect light. And so, especially at nighttime, you know, if you're driving out and you see all of these lights that are refracting back at you, well, your eye has to process that. And if you don't have adequate protection from nutrients inside of your eye, it might impact the glare that you have coming from your vision, right? We, we Glare is kind of a simple term for just a little bit of the, the blurred vision, some of the deflections that are going on with a lot of light that might just be overpowering how the eye is processing these things. So helping with glare sensitivity is a big benefit of the product. Um, provides support and key nutrients important for eye health and function. Um, I'm gonna talk about that and some of the specific nutrients in the formula. It really is a, a comprehensive eye formula in terms of protecting different key components that are found within the eye just to support its health and support its overall function. Um, protect cells from oxidative damage. So this is gonna be kind of the antioxidant story here. We're exposed to free radicals from a lot of sources, uh, directly from light, but also indirectly from many other things. We need antioxidants. They are nature's solution to these damaging free radicals. Um, if you're not familiar with free radicals, these are unpaired electrons. And electrons like to work in the buddy system, right? They like their partner, just like Valentine's Day is today, or if you watch it in the future, <laughs> today the training was done on Valentine's, right? We like to be with a companion, and that's when we're happier, that's when we're more stable, that's how electrons like to work. However, if one electron loses their partner or their buddy, they become highly reactive compounds, and these high reactivity compounds, these free radicals, they can damage your DNA and your cells and your lipids and your proteins, and they can really cause havoc on the eye, which is exposed to these things very directly from the outside world um, and other tissues in the body as well. So antioxidants can protect different parts of the eye. And then formulated based on the most recent scientific evidence and studies, I'll talk about that later, but there are two, the, the two biggest studies by far on eye health are called AREDS and AREDS2. Um, and, and we'll talk about that more. But if you're going to create a formula that protects the macula of the eye, it better be based on the latest and greatest in research. And there are actually some tweaks and improvements that we have made to our formula above and beyond the largest studies that exist. In, in other words, AREDS and AREDS2. So um, we talked about lighting, right, and computers and screens and all of these different sources of light. Um, there are beneficial effects of getting this light, in particular in the morning time, right? If you're someone that likes to get up and get a little bit of sunlight, get a little bit of light into those eyes, that can actually train the brain. It can regulate your circadian rhythm. It can help with, with sleep cycles. It can help with overall mood um, and helps with memory and cognitive function. Um, at the back of your eye, you actually have an optic nerve 
that connects to the brain. And in fact, that's part of receiving these light signals is that light comes to the eye and it's receiving those signals that then go to the brain that then come back into the eye to help process images and color and things that we see on a day-to-day -day basis. However, on the flip side, you can see the harmful effects, right? It's going to contribute to eye strain from digital devices, can cause damage to the retina, uh, can cause headaches and fatigue as well. In fact, I don't know if you can relate to this, but maybe you've been, you know, on your phone all day or on your computer all day and you just, you know, have headaches, you have fatigue. It's like this brain fatigue going on and the eye strain where you've just been straining um, at a screen for too long. You know, if you have just this short-term vision where you're focused just a few feet away for long periods of time, what happens is that ciliary muscle on the side of your eye is kind of constricted and it's not it's not contracting like it needs to. And so because it's so tight, it can cause some of that strain from looking at these screens for really, really long periods of time. And so um, for that and many of the reasons, we need good protection from indoor lighting and computers and other screens that we're exposed to. So um, indoor lighting and computer problems, kind of the same story here. Um, I know everyone remembers their Anatomy 101 class that they went to back in college. Um, <laughs> if not, here's just a little refresher. Uh, the eye is very complex, but in its simple terms, you have the cornea, which is the outside layer of your eye, and that's going to absorb a lot of the short UV light, so some of the more energetic pieces of light. Um, you have the iris beneath that, then you have the lens. That's what a lot of people are familiar with. Toward the back of the eye, if you follow kind of that yellow circle, you see that retina. And the fovea, that's actually the central piece of the macula of the eye. So that's going all the way back and penetrating all the way to the back of the eye. The reason that's relevant is that it's only visible wavelengths that are actually reaching the macula, right? So there's all these different wavelengths uh, of light. And it's the visible range that we actually see in the spectrum, right? So if you see the rainbow of different colors, right? You got the, you know, the reds, the greens, the blues, the purples, et cetera, in that visible range, that is all getting back to the macula with the blue light being some of the strongest waves that are actually getting there and can potentially do some damage in excess. Um, oh, I just was stealing that point here. So blue wavelengths are the most energetic and have the greatest potential for causing retinal damage. So they're going all the way back there. And for good reason, that's the way the eye is designed. Part of that light getting back to the macula is actually sending signals to your brain and back to your eye to help concentrate um, light and using light actually for vision. So some light is really, really good. It's just too much that's problematic. Um, indoor lighting and computer problems, still, still going on the same idea. Um, part of this light with its high energy, especially the blue light, it can cause these free radicals. And I already touched on them briefly, right? They're the unpaired electrons. Um, they're unhappy, they're highly unstable, they're very reactive, and they're the ones that are going to do damage um, from too many screens and LEDs and fluorescent lights and screens, right? All the above. If we're overexposing our eyes to these things, it's going to create some of that fatigue, um, some of those headaches, um, some of the damage that can be done to the eyes, and we really need good protection. So, I think we can now get into some of the formula here. Okay, this is the fun stuff. So, so what nutrients do we have from diet or supplementation that can actually protect our eyes? Now, two of the strongest, most powerful ones are carotenoid antioxidants called lutein and zeaxanthin. Now, these are carotenoids that are found in green leafy vegetables like kale and spinach. How many of you had your kale and spinach smoothies this morning, right? Um, as well as egg yolks and corn. In fact, uh, the, the yellow color in nature, so like egg yolk, corn, um, in fact, kale and spinach, if you were to strip the chlorophyll, which is a green pigment, it's actually going to have a yellow color to it. But the chlorophyll in the green is more dominant, so that's why it has that green color. But that said, lutein and zeaxanthin are very powerful yellow pigments that are found in these things. It's also what gives like the yellow color to to peppers and some other fruits and vegetables that we have, these are very powerful. These are concentrated in the back of your eye called the macula. And what they do is they have a very unique structure. You can see they're lutein and zeaxanthin. They're very, very, very similar carotenoids. They have this unique backbone here inside of them. I wish I could point on the screen here, but you can see this alternating double single bonds that goes across the whole length of, this, of these compounds. What those do 
is that particular structure allows them to absorb and soak up the hits of many different free radicals, including um, light that actually comes into these carotenoids. Um, and, and what they do is they act kind of like a sponge where they're actually soaking up these free radicals and instead of these free radicals doing damage to the macula or the retina or the lens of the eye, they're soaking these things up to prevent the damage. In addition, when it comes to light, um, we know that carotenoids have light refracting properties to them. So they actually absorb some of that light coming in and they deflect it back so that it's actually not penetrating to the back of the eye to do that kind of damage. So they're very powerful. They have this like dual action inside of the body. Um, you might be thinking, hey, I, I eat some of these fruits and vegetables, so I'm good. Well, the data doesn't lie. Average intake of these things are, is very, very low. In fact, my point at the bottom here, average intake, at least in America, is one to two milligrams per day. Um, it's not enough. It's not even close to enough, right? You have one to two per day. You need 10 times that amount really to get a beneficial effect or a protective effect based on clinical studies. And that's the dose that we're going to have inside of our product. So um, these are very powerful. Like I said, they're highly concentrated in the macula of the eye. Um, there is another carotenoid that is found in the macula that is called mesozeaxanthin. Some people ask, hey, why that's not in there or why I'm not talking about it here. The reason is that um, lutein can actually convert to mesozeaxanthin. So you get the benefits of these three macular carotenoids by just supplementing with these two that are stable, that are effective. And these are found in diet in healthy concentrations, whereas the meso um, is a little bit different and there's lacking uh, much better studies to really confirm that any added value that it provides in literature. So this is something that we watch as scientists where we're kind of geeking out and we're very nerdy about all these things and watching the latest science. Um, but yeah, as of right now, this is really all that you need to provide that complete macular protection in the eye. So um, I mentioned this, you need to get a clinically effective dose. Um, with lower doses, when you look at the studies, you know, if you're taking two milligrams or if you're taking five milligrams, it's not enough. You need 10 milligrams of lutein and two milligrams of zeaxanthin. Um, by the way, you might find something that has like 20 milligrams out there. Um, when it comes to more, it isn't necessarily better to a point, right? 10 and two is your clinically effective dose. This is kind of the natural ratio that we get lutein and zeaxanthin in the diet as well. But having an effective dose, what is this based on? It's based on the absolute largest studies in the industry in terms of eye health and eye protection. I believe I have a little video here. I hope that it plays. Let me, there we go. But what that's trying to illustrate there is that the eye formula, that was actually eye formula compared to water, compared to just some, some colored dye. And, you know, we know the water and the dye, that light is just shining straight through. But with the eye formula, these ingredients, like I mentioned, the lutein and zeaxanthin in particular, they have that light refracting property where they actually absorb some of that blue light and they refract it back, right? Actually at a different wavelength, having that protective quality in addition to be, being very, very powerful antioxidants inside of the eye to help combat and soak up and be that sponge for a lot of these different free radicals. So um, I, I love that demo. I think it's very powerful. Um, that said, this product is SCF certified. That means that it's skin carotenoid score certified. Uh, for those that aren't familiar with the biophotonic scanner, it's an incredible device. It's a motivational tool. It measures these levels of carotenoids. We know that it's measuring in the skin and there is actually some new data showing a really good correlation between what you measure in the skin in terms of carotenoids and what you measure in the eye. Some people have asked me, hey, can we just shine this light right into your eye and measure? No, 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 don't do that. That's not how it works. The scanner is meant for the skin, but there is a correlation. Okay, So it, so it actually is a good biomarker in the skin of 
what's inside the body, but also the level of carotenoids that you have in the eye. And specifically, the good ones are these bright yellow, yellow colored ones, right? Um, the lutein and zeaxanthin. Um, SCS certified um, also means that we can guarantee that the product is going to work and that it's going to increase your scanner score over time. For this particular one, it is a 90 day guarantee. But to me, it's kind of a risk free thing where it's like, hey, we know that your antioxidant protection is going to go up and hopefully you see some benefits in terms of visual acuity and color and glare sensitivity and just overall protection for the eye. Um, there are some indirect benefits as well with lutein and zeaxanthin where they're studied in other areas in the body. But for the purpose of this product, the focus is all about eye health. So um, I mentioned it's formulated based on the latest research. Um, AREDS um, is the biggest study. And then AREDS-2 followed it up. The AREDS original study um, showed some really good protection in the macula from ingredients like vitamin C, E, uh, and zinc, and copper. That was kind of your basic antioxidant formula. And they showed some really, really good results. AREDS-2, they had different groups that were given lutein and zeaxanthin. Um, that were given omega-3s, so EPA and DHA. In fact, this training isn't about omega-3s and fatty acids. However, um, omega-3s can also be very beneficial. In the AREDS-2 study, they showed that the people that were the most deficient in omega-3s gained the greatest benefit in terms of eye health and eye protection from adding omega-3s to their diet. So EPA and DHA, we know EPA is actually very good for vascular integrity, so good for circulation which we know we need good circulation to actually get to the eye, to deliver nutrients to the eye. And then the DHA found in omega-3s, um, that's actually found in part of uh, different rods and cones. In fact, DHA is more concentrated in the eye than any other tissue in the body. And so we know that both EP and DHA from a high quality fish oil can be very, very complementary to the benefits in eye formula. Um, we didn't include it directly in the eye formula because we have it in many other incredible products. And I would highly recommend that you pair the eye formula with one of our omegas for that for that very reason. Um, but yeah, so, so these are the nutrients here um, that we're gonna have in our formula. In fact, I think I have a, an image of exactly our, our label. Um, and I wanted to highlight this to you so that I could bring out some of the advantages of our formula above and beyond just the AREDS-2. So um, when it comes to AREDS-2, it was really, really good where they combined AREDS plus some of these different groups and different ingredients. The vitamin C um, in terms of ascorbic acid is a good high quality form of vitamin C. It's easily tolerated inside of the body. Some people get scared when they see 400% of their daily value. They're like, oh my goodness, this is so high. Well, this is an amount that you actually could achieve if you were eating five to 10 servings of fruits and vegetables a day. Unfortunately, the average person is only getting two to three servings. We're very deficient. That being said, this is the dose that was studied and we're gonna match that in our formula. Vitamin E, we're using D-alpha tocopherol and 100 units of this. This is per one capsule. You're actually supposed to take two capsules per day. So D-alpha tocopherol, this is the naturally occurring form of vitamin E that is more bioavailable than the synthetic vitamin E that was used in the AREDS study. We actually prefer to use the natural form even at a lower dose because it's similar to, um, to the synthetic one in the higher dose. But the advantage here is that vitamin E in its natural form is more bioavailable for the body. So, so that's one tweak, but one advantage we believe to our formula. Um, zinc gluconate is a good high quality form of zinc. Um, we're using uh, the dose, they actually compared 25 milligrams to 80 milligrams in the different studies. We're using the lower dose to stay under the upper limit. And in the studies, they didn't show any additional benefit with the higher dose of zinc. So this is the optimal dose that we can have on our formula. Copper is there pretty much to prevent um, deficiencies with taking zinc supplementation. So you want to have that combination. Selenium. Um, we're using an organic form of selenium, which was not included in the original AREDS or AREDS-2 studies. But we add selenium to it because selenium is actually a precursor to making glutathione. And glutathione, we know, is an important antioxidant that can 
further provide more even comprehensive benefits above and beyond the standard formula. So that's actually kind of a, a bonus ingredient that we added to the formula. And then we have lutein from marigold and zeaxanthin from marigold in that five to one ratio. Like I said, you take two per day. So when you take two per day, you get that 10 milligrams and two milligrams of those key carotenoid antioxidants. So um, I think this is my summary slide just to kind of bring it all together. Um, you want to take two capsules uh, once daily with a meal. You can actually split it up and take one and one as well. Um, it honestly doesn't matter as long as you get the full two per day. Um, it's great for anyone who is exposed to indoor lighting and computers. I mean, I don't know a single adult that isn't exposed to these things. So it really reaches out to everybody. And just anyone that wants to have really good, comprehensive eye health support. Um, I talked about some of the ingredients today. Uh, I think it's relevant to point out that, look, vitamin C and E are very powerful to protect the lens of the eye against damage. Vitamin C is found in the lens and, and vitamin E as well. And then you have carotenoids that protect more of the back of the eye. And so you're really getting that full eye protection with our formula in addition to the, to the selenium with the glutathione support. It's something that I love. It's something that I take. I care about my eyes and my vision. Um, I notice a difference, especially when I drive at night. To me, the glare sensitivity has gone down with taking eye formula. And I think that is my last slide. Yeah, there you go. Let me stop sharing and give it back to you, Graham. Thank you very much, Tana. That it's amazing what's in there. You think, oh, it's a simple thing. And I always remember uh, Mark Bartlett saying to me over the years about eye formula because it's been one of his favorite uh, uh, products as well. Uh, and he was always amazed that other companies didn't copy the RNs2 study, you know, and that they just sort of blithely went on with whatever formula they dreamed up when there was actual serious validation out there of, of, of what worked. Um, I got a couple of, I got one question from Karen Millis. Uh, Karen says, if we're taking collagen and eye formula, I'm assuming we won't get too much lutein. It's a good question. You get five milligrams from collagen and then you get 10 milligrams from eye formula. There are studies at 20 milligrams plus um, so it, it certainly is a safe dose. You don't need to worry about that. Um, that's going to be a safe combination to take. I mean, the, the only side effect with getting too much lutein is actually that your skin color begins to change. So if you notice, I mean, if you're like taking your spinach and kale smoothies, plus your collagen, plus your eye formula, and you start to notice that your color changes and it looks a little bit more yellow, that's the sign that, okay, maybe you're getting a little too much. There's no negative side effect other than, hey, it looks a little funky, but then maybe calm down a little bit on the spinach smoothies. <laughs> Thank you. I must say, uh, and, and you talked a lot about it in there, uh, about the light and everything else. What I've noticed as I've gotten older is, is a lot of people, I guess 40 plus, uh, start to see changes in their eyes that either affects their sports um, or just affects general daily living. And I, I know personally for myself and a number of other people have just said, we don't necessarily spend inordinate amounts of time in front of lights or indoors. However, we've seen effect that anecdotally I'd say is, is helping with the aging side. Any comment on that? Yeah. Um, I think my comment actually traces back to the beginning of my training where the eyes are kind of a window to the soul and they're a reflection of the health on the inside of the body. And so we know that, you know, when you take eye formula, you can't just tell your body, hey, all these nutrients need to go to the eye, right? We know that some of these nutrients, they're used in different cells and different organs systemically throughout the body. Um, in fact, lutein and zeaxanthin are studied. There's a growing body of evidence of their connection to cognitive improvement inside of the brain. And part of the lutein and zeaxanthin, they can cross that barrier. They can support good cognition inside of the brain. And there's a connection between the eye and the brain as well, right? We have an optic nerve. It's connecting to send signals of, of light to help with vision, but also to, to connect the two pieces together. So, you know, the more I study nutrition, the more I realize how systemic nutrition is and needs to be and that a, a targeted approach is good in certain cases 
But that's the way that we've designed our products is that we have these foundational products like LifePack and AgeLock Youth or Yspan for like just overall anti-aging and effects. And then you can add these targeted supplements that yes, do to agree, they're also complementing some of the systemic benefits of the foundation, yeah. but they're more targeted and specific to those that are really looking for, you know, macular, retinal um, lens protection. Here's one that I've never heard. Uh, Andy Rudd says, why does it make some people nauseous even if taken with food? Well, that's, I've actually, in all the time I've been working with it, have never even heard that one. So that's obviously a pretty rare one. It is pretty rare, but I've heard it. I mean, could, I'm, could, I'm we open the cap, could we open the capsules and add it to our shake is her question. Yes, absolutely you can. Um, the capsule is just a delivery mechanism. So if you want to empty it and put it in your shake or your smoothie, you'll get the same benefits, the same bioavailability. It doesn't impact anything um, other than taste, right? The reason we have capsules is that some of the ingredients, they just don't taste that great. Um, yeah. But you can hide it in shakes and smoothies. Um, that said, going back to the side effect, it is a rare thing. But one of the things that happens with good nutrition is that your body is, is adapting. And sometimes it just takes a little bit of time to adapt. So if someone feels a little, you know, tummy ache or things that are going on, usually my recommendation is yes, to make sure to take it with food. Um, and if that doesn't help, take it with enough water. Some people don't take it with enough liquid. Splitting up the dose is a very good thing as well. Instead of taking two at once, take one for breakfast, take one at dinner. And then if that doesn't help as well, you can actually cut back the dose and just take one a day while your body adapts. I mean, I always compare this to like fiber. You know, you add fiber in your diet and you have some GI issues and people are like, oh, it's really bad for me. No, it's actually really good for you. It's just your body needs time to adapt. We call it a transitory adaptation. Uh, symptom. So as your body adapts, um, you should be able to tolerate eye formula in the long run. Thank you. Uh, here's another one from Dino. Uh, I have a distributor who had an eye operation and the doctor had stitched his amniotic membrane to his cornea. That doesn't sound pleasant. <laughs> Can eye formula help with healing his eye? Uh, well, it's a great question. I mean, I wish I could point to a study where we looked at that particular individual and that it's, effect it's to, pretty to say <laughs> with certainty. But just just in general, yes, these antioxidants, so vitamins C and E, are very powerful to help heal and protect the lens of the eye, so the outside portion of the eye. In addition to the vitamin C helping with that ciliary muscle, that's the muscle that kind of helps it contract and open up and um, to make sure that it's not too too stringent and too too overworked, um, in addition to the carotenoids helping with the macula and the retina, so the back portion of the eye. So in general, I would say, yes, these antioxidants are going to speed up the healing process. Um, is it going to be a miracle from one day to the next? Probably not. But is it going to help over time and speed that up just a little bit? Absolutely, it should. All right, guys, if you want to get your hands on this product, then you know what to do. Just drop me a message on either Facebook, Instagram, or my email at kurtnewskin at gmail.com. You can find the links below, and I'll create a special link just for you in your market. So let me know what market that is that you are sending the message from. If you're watching this wondering, hmm, I would love to do this as a business because I know a bunch of people who could benefit from products like this and many others, how on earth do I go about getting started? Well, I'm so glad you asked that question because I'm looking for great people to partner with and expand this business around the world and teach people how to transition from being a consumer into a distributor or supplier of innovative products that the people are actively looking for. And I can do exactly that with you. So there's a Calendly link below that you can schedule a call with. If you don't already have a sponsor, someone to work with, by all means, reach out. Now, if you do have a sponsor, contact them. They're your go-to. They answer all your questions and help you get started on the right track. Also, be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys, especially if you have an experience or a testimonial to share with this product because uh, it's really underrated. I think many more people in the world need to hear about this because it will benefit them. I am now taking this and I will keep you updated with my results in a few months. 
months time because these things tend to take time. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel and be sure to turn on the notification button so that you get notified every time I create a video like this. I'm updating weekly and uh, I will see you in those future videos or in my messages on Facebook, Instagram or email. Ciao guys.